Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA, and we're gonna start with the C theory episode. So I recently had a guest, and we were talking about a lot of C theories. If you know what a C theory is, you guys know that I'm saying that because I'm trying to work around certain loopholes. I'll probably remake this episode on other platforms, or maybe not. Who knows? But if I use that word on this platform, then I might get shadow banned, which is also a C theory or started off as a C theory before um, they actually admitted that shadow banning is real. If you don't know what shadow banning is, shadow banning is when someone is actually banned or blocked, but they don't know that they're blocked. So when you're consistently posting content and stuff and you're getting zero engagement, but the thing is you don't know that whatever you're posting is not actually being shown um, examples of this is when you search for something and you can't find it but if you search for it word for word or even go to a YouTube channel or a direct link that's when you will see the content even if it's something that you're subscribed to which is kind of wild when I you really think about it um, but that started off as a C theory. The reason why we're going into this direction is people kind of voted for it. You said they'd be interested, as well as I think the world's getting really strange recently um, with what happened in 2020 and coming to the end of that. A lot of people are changing their mind on a lot of different things, and it's opened people's eyes in the sense that, you know, certain things that we fundamentally thought were real or really believed in isn't resonating with us as much as it was in the past, right? So on this series, we're going to talk about certain things like that. We'll get into crazy ideas, <laughs> um, stuff like, is the world really round, um, cloning? is magic real space all of that because this all falls under the umbrella of sea theories and even if you look online there's there's a meme of igloos or not igloos but icebergs and that's how deep these things get into because once you start digging once you start researching once you start looking into these things it's a continuous rabbit hole and if you're not careful then it'll kind of envelop you so for me i got into this maybe around like 2008 2009 that's when i got super deep into them like i was in another rabbit hole and i got myself out of it right but through that experience it changed my life in the sense of it made me grow as a person as well where I'm able to resonate with people a little bit more I'm more understanding than I was even though I was pretty understanding in the first place and it made me kind of question a lot of things because once you're shown examples of certain things that don't make sense and then you could draw it out yourself then you'll notice patterns and that they'll make you really question things some people once they get into that mindset, you know, they go off into another type of way. Like, if you know someone who was or is really into sea theories, some of them really sound crazy. Some of them have probably gone crazy because they think that everything is a trap or nothing is real or um, there's people following them, etc., etc., you know. And Trust me, it's it's a it's a lot to talk about and it's a lot to dive into. So this will be like the small trickle down the the trail of these things. Uh, I don't know if I'll really link stuff, but you know I could I could point you guys into certain directions to look into certain things if that's what you really want to, or you know I could just cover the pieces and then you could look for yourself because at the end of it or at least in my eyes at the end of it the point of C theories are to make you kind of question 
what you're being told and try to find out things by yourself, right? When we were kids, we all touched the stove. I think everybody touched, touched the hot stove and realized that, yes, the stove is hot. And, you know, you had to do the action to believe it afterwards because you're a kid and you're curious. But as we grow older, that curiosity kind of disappears. We just expect to trust people. Um, even in my city, it's crazy where a lot of people claim to be doctors, right? And I don't want to dismiss someone who's actually educated on being a doctor, but when you go to a walk-in clinic, and especially for something that you have a regular condition with, and then you get a so-called doctor, and they prescribe you with something that's completely irrelevant to what you're supposed to be getting, you know that there's a problem that's happening around, at least in your city or wherever you're going. So being too trusting has kind of led society to the point where we're at. At least that's how I look at things. But at the same time, we have to know for ourselves, like, what can we do to learn more and to also kind of just be aware of if something is not real or not. Because in the era of reaction videos, in the era of deep fakes, in the era of mass disinformation, we have to constantly filter things and find out what is real or not. Like, even now, if you learn base level deep fake, uh, deep fake is something that is, it could be like a picture, even like a video, but they use technology to use someone else's face and paste it over someone else's face. I think um, the most recent deep fake that's actually been popularized is like two people singing and it looks really weird, but if you know how to do deep fakes well, it actually looks like the person and it doesn't look weird. A lot of people use it for um, even like the SpongeBob memes for when the characters are saying something, but it's clearly not the actual SpongeBob episode. People are doing that with voiceovers and you know, it's, it's good technology at times, but it's also bad technology at times. Um, the base of the C theory originally, the word was made up to make sure that people wouldn't pry or look into things deeper than the actual narrative. So hopefully you guys are excited as I am to talk about these things and I'm going to start the combo on certain things, my view on it and why I think it makes sense or it doesn't make sense. I'll have my arguments. Maybe I'll post stuff that I found in the past or currently. I gotta definitely go look up my sources and even double check at the things that I've seen. But being a person who's been exposed to that very early before like the internet got to the point where it is now, um, for me it's easier to look at things and be like, oh wow, you know, that's kind of strange or that pattern is it kind of looks like a pattern here let me investigate or am I just thinking too much and it probably was a coincidence either way guys hopefully you guys like this intro episode and I'll catch you guys on the first actual episode